Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Warthog Trike. And this, easily hands down, has to be one of my favorite figures from this entire line. It's just, it's so cool. Uh, I just love the concept that Bebop needs a trike. He's that big, he needs a trike. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So starting off with the whole thing, I just love this thing. Oh, hi. Sorry, my cat down here. Um, it's just so nice. It's just nice and sturdy. Um, I felt like the Rock City one wasn't super sturdy. Um, but this one I feel is very sturdy and can withstand. Uh, sorry, my cat's freaking out. Uh, could could withstand some drops. Of course, as a collector, I'm never going to be dropping my toys. Never. Uh, that's against me and my uh my moral my collector moral that's a thing um but yeah so this figure is really cool so let's get on just with the bike so putting bebop aside we'll get to him later um here's the bike and i just love this thing it's nice it's, it's small it's low it's it's cool it's got this nice gold accenting all around it's got the little hubcaps it's got the Whatever those are called, that's just all I know. Exhaust pipes, that's what they're called. It says, uh, very clearly it says Bebop right there. It's got a little hanging padlock right there. Um, some more spikes. The grenade launchers, which is really cool, I'll get into later. It's got this nice seat right here, just kind of dips in. It's got some grenades. Ah! See? It's jinxed. It's jinxed, I know it. Last time I tried... This is the second time I've tried to film this review. When I talked about the seat, my phone fell off and almost broke. See the seat, the seat. Huh. Nothing seems to be happening. Oh shoot guys, there's no bike. Ugh, bad luck. But no, it, it is really cool. I really, really like this. It's nice, it's just, it's, it's sturdy. That's why I like about it. So uh, let's talk about that. Ooh. Let's talk about that Bebop figure. Now that we've uh, gotten the bad luck bike out of the way. Let's put this to the side. Let's get this Bebop figure in there. Look how cute he is. Mmm, piggy piggy. Let's put him down and move the camera to the side a little bit so I can put my arm in here. So yeah, I really like this figure. He uh, he's nice and he kind of complements the bike really good. Uh, like he's almost just like the regular release of the figure, but I don't know. He seems more piggy. Like maybe it's just because of the helmet that they gave him is very uh piggy, bacony. I don't know. I don't know how you subscribe. I don't know how you subscribe that. What the heck? And then he comes with his standard chain. Oh, I love this thing. It looks so cool. I want to make one myself. And then he also comes with um, his crowbar. Unlike Roxy, he doesn't come with an exclusive weapon, but that's okay. He's got the same articulation, so if you've seen my Bebop review, you should know what to expect. Um, uh, it's got all the same paints and everything, but actually, his beard's oh, quality. His beard's brighter. Uh a good friend of mine. Well, actually, I don't know him, but uh, Raphael Sehemon, uh, he uh, he know he pointed this out. Was it him? Or was it someone else? I don't know. But look at the beard. This one's much brighter. And then, but then the body it goes back down and it's just regular. Now that's why I don't like about necessarily the basic one is that it's supposed to be purple. It's not purple at all. This is a pink. So I might just have to get the uh, Walmart exclusive version to get that purple that I want but maybe maybe not I might do that I might not but yeah so there are two figures together both chunky both very nice and I just really really like them even the paint on this one on the necklace looks a little crisper than this one I don't know still got the same slide glasses with nothing under them oh. yeah you can see the eyes under there very very cool 
Now, getting onto the action feature of this bike is just really, really cool. I really, really like it. And I'm glad that they uh, added it in like this because it just shows the wideness of Bebop, and I just really like it. So, uh, usually his hands are on the bike like this. I'm not going to put them on right now. But you see these bums, and they're uh, crawling along the sides of him like that. So then they can shoot around him. That's so cool. So actually we're going to put, um, the original release Bebop here, and we're going to shoot him. So, this world is barely big enough for one of us. Going to have to take you out, comrade. Oh, wow. Well, it's gone forever. Uh, but as you, you did, well actually you didn't see, so I'll actually show you right now. You plug these in, and then it shoots around him. I think that's just so cool. And I've probably lost those forever, so that's the last time I'm going to do it. So there you go guys, there was a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows Warthog Trike with exclusive Bebop. I definitely think this one is a must have. Uh... I mean, if you're going to get this one, you might as well get the Rocksteady one, because, I mean, Rocksteady, Bebop or Rocksteady. I always say Rocksteady and Bebop, I don't know why. Tell me in the comments below what's right. Um, so, definitely pick this one up. I love this this figure, vehicle, I don't know, whatever you call it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reviews, and some Spider-Man reviews. I haven't had one of those on this channel before. I like Spider-Man, but I've never showcased it so uh thank you guys for watching make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye